Hey, how you doing? David Taub here from Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all is going well. Have a fun song lesson for you today. We're going to do an acoustic version of Seether's Fine Again. Uh, I got it stripped down for one guitar. I'm going to show you all the parts. It's a great, easy song that you could quickly add to your song catalog. And if you're a beginner, I'm going to get you playing this fast and fun with some easy strum patterns. Five chords is all you need. You don't even have to play bar chords. I'm going to show you to play this in a way where there's no bar chords needed. And uh, you could be playing this song like today, right now. So there's a lot of different versions of this song out there. I'm going to do an acoustic version for just one guitar. And we're going to do this in standard A440 tuning. Now, if you watched some of the videos of the band doing it acoustically, it sounds to me like they're tuned down a half a step to E flat. And you could do that if you want. If, uh, if, that, if that's more in your vocal range or whatnot, or if you want it to sound a little heavier, tune down the E-flat, um, just drop everything down a half a step. Now on the original recording, there's two guitars, and that's where it has the, the, the one guitar has, plays the heavy parts, and that guitar is tuned way down, like a fourth or a fifth even. Um, so on, on the original recording, you have one guitar in standard tuning, and to me it sounds like the other guitar is tuned to like B, all the way down to like the low E string down to a B, the A string to an E, then A, then D, then F sharp. You tune the B to the F sharp and the high E to a B. That's really low. The strings are really flapping. Um, but that's what it sounds like to me, and now they get that real heavy sound. But the song is great acoustically, um, and I'm going to show you a way where it basically has three parts. Four parts if you count the intro. We'll do a little intro. Then the verses, which are all the same. The choruses, which are all the same. And a little bridge section, and that's it. So let's start it off, and uh, we'll start off with the intro. Um, and the chords we're going to be using for the intro is an F sharp, uh, and we're just going to play, we're not going to play full bar chords. You can if you know the full bar chord. But let's just play power chords or fifth chords. So we'll play the F sharp fifth, and then move that same voicing from the second fret up to the fifth fret. And that's an A5, or A power chord, and then to an E open chord and into a D open chord, right? So basically, and we're going to arpeggiate it to sound like this. And then we're into the song. So for the intro, just take that F sharp fifth and play, just go right down the chord, low E string, A string, D string, and then back to the A string four notes, then go up to the A, same exact pattern. Then go to your E chord, and then for this one just do the low E, A, and then drop down to the G, and then the D string. And then on that D chord, you can just do like three down strokes, down, down. We're going to keep it simple, I'm going to show you a few different ways you could play this. So real slow you get this. And you could do that twice, and then we go right into the song, uh, into the first verse. Now, the first verse, again, you're going to play that F-sharp fifth to an A chord. Now, this time, finger the A like this, right, uh, with your first finger kind of catching the D, G, and B string to the open E, and then to the D. And on that D chord, if you want to play a D, you could play a full D, or you could actually play a D5 chord where you're just hitting the D, G, and B strings. Or you can play a D sus too, where you include that open E string, high E string. They all sound good. So let me play the verse for you that changes with a real simple strum, and then we'll get into some little bit more interesting strums. So you can do it just like this. And that's it. And that keeps repeating those four chords. F sharp. A, E, D. Now the pattern I'm doing is just down, 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 up on each chord. Down, 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 up. That's all the verses. All right, so start off with that easy strum. You could even just do, if you're just starting, just do two downs. Let it ring. 
Concentrate on just changing those chords. F sharp fifth, A, E, D. Okay, now if you're a little further along and you want a little bit more interesting strum pattern, let's try something like this. Alright, now basically with that one, we're doing two different patterns. On the F sharp fifth chord, we're going down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And we do that same strum on the on the third chord. We also do that on the E chord. Down, down, up, down, up. And then on the the middle two chords on the uh, on the A chord, down, 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 up. That's it, just down, 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 up. So three downs in a row, down, 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 up. And that same pattern on the D chord. Right, so every other chord gets the same strum. So together, F sharp, fifth, down, down, up, down, up. A, down, 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 up. E, down, down, up, down, up. D, down, 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 up. All together. Right? Really easy. This is such a fun and easy song to play and to sing along with. Um, okay, so there's a few different strum patterns, and obviously once you get the hang of those, you can embellish it and make it your own and throw in some different patterns. Start off with the easy ones and then build to the more complex ones. All those verses are the same. Now, if the the trouble you're having is with your chord changing, if you're having trouble getting from the F sharp fifth to the A or from the A to the E, and you're just having trouble hitting your chord changes in time, I can help you with that. I have a free video lesson that's not on YouTube that I'd love to send you. It has six essential tips for your fret hand because all chord changing starts with the fret hand. So you could check your fret hand technique. Then it has six essential tips for proper chord changing. It has all kinds of exercises to really drill your chord changing, get that muscle memory down and really blast your chord changing to the next level. It has all that. It's a killer lesson. And also I'll send you my new beginner ebook, which has even more exercises and lessons in it. All you have to do is just click on that link in the YouTube description box right? And I will send you that video lesson and I'll send you the ebook for free from Epic Guitar Instruction. It's free stuff, so grab it. So now you know the intro, now you know the verses. And if you want to put the intro together with the verse, I would just do it like this. I'd play the intro two times. See how I connected the intro into the first verse. Because after your verse actually goes right into a chorus, then another verse, then a chorus, and then the bridge, and then a chorus, and then it's out. Um, so the chorus basically the change is again F sharp fifth to the D. Then you're gonna play a B fifth chord. Alright. There it is right there. Now you could play your B fives, you could play your B major if you know that bar chord, or you could play a B suspended second sounds really nice if you're up to your bar chords. If not, just play that B fifth, that's fine. And then to an E. So that change, F sharp fifth, D, B fifth, and E. So you could do that same strum pattern if you want, or you could do like a down, 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 up. Or you could do the same pattern where we switched it on every other chord. So that would sound like this. Okay, so you could use the same rhythm. You're just changing basically the order of chords, adding the B5. So I'll play one verse, the, I'll play the last part of the verse one time through the change into the chorus, it'll sound like this.
Flores. Okay, and then right after that chorus, if you want, before the second verse. Maybe go back to the arpeggiating. Second verse starts over again. Same exact changes as the first verse, right? Um, so now you know all the verses, you know all the choruses, you know some different ways to play them rhythmically. And uh, the only other change in the song is there goes to a bridge. And the bridge is, is pretty simple. It's just a D chord to a B chord. And I'm not scared now, right? And you can play the B fifth. Or you could play the B sus two sounds really nice, really full sounding if you're up to bar chords. And all I'm doing for that strum is just down, 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 down. down. You want to do it like that, easy. Play that change four times. You can even arpeggiate the chords. If you want to, there's a couple different ways to do it. Whatever sounds good to your ears, right? So that last time, the fourth time, and I'm not scared now, maybe you want to let that B chord ring and then build it. Because we're building back into the chorus. You want to build up that tension. builds into that chorus which he plays a couple times this is the end of the song and then an ending for the song maybe we'll we'll make up an ending um one day too late just as well uh you might just want to go just as kind of throw the intro back in there and then um Maybe uh, after the chorus, throw in that, go back to the intro, but slow it down. And then on that F sharp fifth, maybe play, add your uh, second finger to that G string on that third fret and open high E and B. Really nice chord, just let that ring. You can pick back here. Where it's tighter, it'll get a different sound. So that'll sound like this. The last time through the chorus at the end. Uh... I hope you like that lesson and, and hey if you don't mind could you do us a favor and if you like this lesson could you click on that like button that really helps us out maybe put a comment in a YouTube comment box that you know helps us to keep bringing the content here at Epic Guitar Instruction let us know what you want to hear next or where you're at in your guitar journey or what you're studying or what you'd like to learn um, and then also please subscribe to this channel click on that subscribe button and that really helps us out too and uh, really appreciate your support Really appreciate you watching. I'm David Taub for Epic Guitar Instruction. Um, we try to bring lessons of all genres here, all different levels, all styles. We try to have a little something for everyone. And oh yeah, don't forget to click on that link because I want to send you that free video to really help you with your chord changing. It's, it's a half hour lesson that's absolutely killer. You won't find it on YouTube or anywhere else. I have to send it to you, that and the ebook. Just click on that link in the YouTube description box. All right, so you take care. Keep those uh, guitars in your hands every day, even if it's only for 10 minutes or so, right? And remember, your playing is an evolution. Stay positive and keep on rocking. We'll see you in the next lesson.